If you've ever checked out the best-selling pen holders and desk organizers on Etsy, you've probably noticed a lot of them are 3D prints following this industrial design trend. First things first, remember the first rule of fusion. Always start your project by creating a new component. When sketching your pen holder in Fusion, make sure it's oriented exactly how you'll 3D print and use it in real life. A handy tip for this design, start with the center rectangle centered right over the origo. This will keep everything aligned and make your design process smoother. Here's a time-saving trick for you. Don't fuss over setting each fillet radius individually. They'll all automatically adjust when you tweak the last one. This sketch is the blueprint for our 3D design and the best part. If you need to change dimensions later, you can easily revisit this sketch via the timeline. For the first design iteration of this pen holder concept, setting the height at 100 mm is just right. Remember to choose the shell option specifically for solid modeling before setting your thickness. A thicker model will give you that high quality feel and works great with the pattern we're planning next. The chamfer tool looks good and is easy to 3D print. Need to reuse the last tool? Just right click for quick access. If Fusion throws an error due to a large chamfer distance, simply reduce it a bit. Fun fact. Chamfers not only look good, but also reduce stress concentrations, making your prints stronger. Place your next sketch at the bottom of the chamfer edge. For this tutorial, I'll quickly place the sketch here. However, for a more robust design, consider using dimensions, parameters and constraints. This approach ensures your entire model behaves predictably and can be easily modified. But for now, this simpler method will suffice for our purposes. Remember, you can use the pipe command to both add and subtract geometry. Explore the different section types like triangular, circular or square and adjust them as needed. Once you've set up your cut operation, confirm it and perform a quick quality check from all angles before moving forward. Set your pattern on path to the feature object type, then select your object. Use the sketch line that wraps around the pen holder as your path. Adjust the quantity until you're happy with the result and don't forget to set the orientation to path direction to ensure the pattern aligns correctly around the corners. If you've mastered this workflow, drop a comment below and share your tips. I'm still refining my approach. I noticed I missed one spot but it's an easy fix. Your design features are all accessible through the Fusion timeline. Fun fact, when working with multiple components, each one has its own timeline for easier management. I added one more to the quantity, completing our pattern, and now everything looks great across the entire model. I noticed there's room for a chamfer at the bottom of the pen holder, so I added it. To keep things organized, I placed this chamfer action next to the others in the timeline for easy access. Once you're done with your edits, jumping to the latest action in the timeline is just a click away. Pro tip for appearances. Right click on your added appearance and adjust the RGB color code directly in the pop-up menu. The pen holder looks fantastic and I can't wait to 3D print it. Before we wrap up, here are three quick reminders. One, if you enjoyed this fast paced tutorial, subscribe to the Maker Letters. Every subscriber makes a big difference for a small channel like this. Two, 
Check the course description for extra details and discounts on 3D modeling courses and more. 3. Don't miss the highlighted playlist for free Fusion tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.